What are facts about your job that general public has no idea about? I'm a massage therapist. I don't care if you didn't shave. But please wash your feet. Working for giant companies, it's comical how many systems are raggedy messes of bare bones functionality. All available money gets thrown at certain projects, leaving everything else to work on complete shoestrings. Ex-security guard here. We're not there to protect you. We're there to observe and report. Don't assume that just because whatever building you're working in has security that you're safe. Especially if security is of the unarmed variety. Radioactive contamination can often just be cleaned with Windex or even water. I work in IT support. Legit about 80% of all problems are solved by rebooting the computer, terminal, phone. If not, 20% is pure detective work. I was a licensed cremationist for 8 years. Regardless how hard we tried, that wasn't just grandma or grandpa in the urn. Anesthetics we only ask about your illicit drug use so we don't kill you when we give you a general anesthetic and that you have appropriate pain relief. You'll have a tolerance that we need to counter by giving you a variety of drugs and more of them. No judgment from us on your choices just want to actually take care of your properly. I currently work the line at a recycling facility. Yal motherfuckers throw a lot of shit away when it could have been given to a charity. The bags of cement are not filled by a robot. A person handles every bag. I can fill 2,500 bags in an 8-hour shift. Chef here. 80% of us are alcoholics or addicts. I work for a department that does tolls by mail. A robot may take your picture, but a live human ends up processing it. We can see inside your car and we can see you giving roadhead. Even in the dark tunnels. I work at a large biotech pharmaceutical manufacturing company. The drugs you take or buy from your local pharmacy are so insanely and meticulously regulated and inspected at every step of the journey from Petri dish to pharmacy shelf, that you could take a pill from a bottle and it can be traced back to the exact room it was made in, the exact equipment that was used, who was responsible for each step, and the time it was made down to the very second. Seriously, there is no missteps when it comes to GXP. In news writing, if we like you we don't quote you exactly. If we don't like you, best believe you're getting a sick. A nurse. People get seen by severity, not the order they came in the door. Also, just because you came in by ambulance doesn't mean you immediately bypass the waiting room. Software developer here. Only a minority of companies take data security seriously enough to prevent leaks. For every publicly announced leak, there are 20 that were swept under the rug. Proper security requires that the whole structure, from the top down, has an understanding of the issues. It's not just down to the techies, it's down to their managers, and their managers' managers. Structural engineer. We take materials we do not entirely understand, form them into shapes we cannot precisely analyze to resist forces we cannot truly assess in such a way that the public at large has no idea of the extent of our ignorance. I'm a nanny and most people think the kids are what bothers me the most or what would lead me to quit. It's never the kids, always the fucked up parents. People with too much money who don't intend on raising their own kids are far too prevalent. Worked at an automotive assembly plant. Every 60 seconds the assembly line is shut down. The plant is losing $10,000. Missing parts, incorrectly sequenced material, a red bumper shows up next in line when it's a blue car in bumper install, broken lift assist devices, one person running off the line to bathroom, it's happened, chains breaking etc. could all shut down the line. Tensions were incredibly high and the stress was unbelievable on some days. Other days it was super easy and chill. Good pay. High school degree is the only mandatory requirement to be a supervisor. And with the mandatory OT, usually you work 5-6 days, 10-12 hour shifts, you're making at least 100k. Crisis hotline. Sometimes we get really disturbing prank calls. I always encourage people to call back if they are ever in crisis. A lot of times, they, the prank callers, do. I'm the spray tech at a golf course. We use green dye on our putting greens. The grass at Augusta National is sprayed green as well. Any grass you see on camera has been sprayed green.